This video is brought to you by Sayerite. Visit Sayerite.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. In this video, we'll show you how to install a SnapRite Gypsy Stud using the Sayerite SnapRite system. A Gypsy Stud is used in either a cloth-to-cloth-to-cloth -to -cloth -to -cloth or cloth-to-cloth -to, -cloth to surface application. This Gypsy Stud is specially designed with a hole in the center for the use with the Sayerite SnapRite system. Matt Grant will explain how it works for a power boat windshield sunshade application. Then he will walk you through the steps to install it. Here's Matt. We wanted to make modular side panels. We use gypsy studs here. So if I only want the front panel and I don't want my side panel in place, I can remove the side panel completely, come back, and I can snap my screen right to the mullion here without the side panel and leave the side panel open for viewing. Alternative, alternatively, I can put the side panels on and leave the front windscreen off as well. So pretty slick design and uh, let's take a closer look at how these gypsy studs work. All right, so we have our standard Line 24 stud attached to the boat. And then as you'll recall with our side curtain, we used a socket with a gypsy stud combination. So basically it means that when we snap our, our socket to the stud on the boat, we're still left with another stud, the gypsy stud. And that allows us to take a button and socket combination and snap directly over it. So you have a cloth to cloth to surface application. Now that we showed you how the Gypsy Stud works for this solar shade and privacy panel, it's now time to detail how to use the SnapRite system to install it in the mesh vinyl fabric called Pfeiffertex Plus from Sailrite. Okay, in front of me I have the major components I need to do this installation. I have four of the Gypsy Studs, which are a stud with a rivet. I have four sockets. I have a couple mandrels, and then I have the two pertinent dies for the SnapRite system. Don't really need the pouch or the instructions at this point, so let me get those out of the way. And I keep everything else, including the other dies in this pouch. Now I have my rivet tool, just standard pop rivet tool. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to thread in this die that is for the gypsy stud. So I have to keep the trigger pulled to thread it in, just screw it all the way in until it's snug. Now I'm going to put my gypsy stud in, and you notice there's a rubber gasket in there that holds that in place. And then I'm gonna snap one socket onto the, the stud die. Mandrel goes up through the bottom, and we're ready to go. Now, you, wanna make, you don't wanna make the mistake of putting the wrong side of the fastener on the wrong side of your curtain. After all, you spent a lot of time putting these together. So let's start at this end and slide it down the way. I'm noticing that I already have buttons up here. The cap is up, so I know this is the outside. So I'm gonna pull the cap and you just twist and pull those off. And then I'm going to, with a finger, sort of mark where the hole is. It should still be visible. And then I'm gonna pull my quick fit out. Once I pull it out, I wanna work fairly quickly to find that existing hole, which is right there and I want to poke my mandrel from, from my SnapRite system in through that hole and then up all the way. So it'll look like the other spikes coming straight up. And at this point, I want to make sure that I didn't forget to put the socket on the, on the die, which we did that previously. So sockets there, don't make the mistake of missing the socket. Also make sure that you have your, your gypsy stud installed in your snap right tool. Now we come back and slide this on and then hold the mandrel in with your index finger from the back side so it stays seated all the way. Squeeze the trigger, you'll feel it grab the mandrel and then you just want to squeeze until you get good pressure. You don't have to go crazy with these things. And then back the tool out, pull the tool off and slide the mandrel out and inspect the curl of the barrel rivet. And that looks awesome. Now I can use this mandrel probably twice for gypsy studs before, before I should replace the mandrel. 
So I'm going to go through the same process here quickly. We did not discuss using the quick fit snap positioning system. The black cap and the pin socket are part of those components. To see the whole video showing how to make this windshield sunshade, click the icon at the top right corner of this video. That's all there is to using the SnapRite system to install a SnapRite Gypsy Stud. You can order the SnapRite system and the SnapRite Gypsy Stud exclusively at Sayerite. I'm Eric Grant and from all of us here at Sayerite, thanks for watching.